Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the El Paso County Courthouse with DMA, or as I like to call him now, Delusional Moronic Asshat. And he's at the courthouse to get some business done before he goes to jail here in the next few weeks. And by business, I mean harassing every single employee that he can before his time runs out. Such, such as this one employee that he ends up wanting to cross who just doesn't want to cooperate with him whatsoever. And we all know he can't stand anybody who doesn't bow down and lick his boots. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Uh, collections and accounting, so this is, this is where they enforce the theft, I guess. Like, I just didn't know you guys need to know that since I'm planning just paying in full next week. Yeah, and, and so all four costs are due to day of sentencing, which is why we require okay. that. Uh, going past that does require, you know, can fund be set up, uh, which is the reason for that information. Um, now, if you're uncomfortable with going up now, go ahead and sign in. Hi, ladies. And you can kind of ask more questions. Listen, Chrissy boy, I know that Sweat T just recently broke up with you, and I know it must have been hard on you, but, uh, Unfortunately, no one is stupid enough to be, well, at least none of these ladies will be stupid enough to uh, even think about hanging out with you because, well, you just don't have the kind of personality that these women are looking for. I mean, most women would prefer somebody who is mentally stable and doesn't have a criminal record, and that is not you. Hi, ladies. Um, or you want to make a paper or something? <laughs> no, oh, no, I was just saying hi to you. Just show me what, what I need to finish. Oh, okay, you don't talk to people? Okay. So, <laughs> Only uh, if you're here to no, make a payment. Right Otherwise, you just ignore them. Dude, uh, have you ever been in an office environment before? Or for that matter, an actual working environment? Idle chit-chat is usually frowned upon by the supervisors. It has to be related to the business most of the time. I mean, you could chat with the uh, customer for a short time, but in the end, it is a business and they have got work to do, which is something that you have never experienced. And besides, uh, these ladies aren't your type. They're not a psychotic uh, witch like uh, Sweat Tea was. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. What about you? You want to say hi? Member of the public? No? You don't want to say hi to people? <laughs> okay. So it's been busy today? Okay. No? That's good. That means that people don't have that many payments and fines to pay, I guess. It's a good thing. So is this like, do people come here if they got um, like a tick, like uh, a fine in the courts and they come here to settle up with you guys? Yes, we take payments in this office. Okay. And then like also for like restitution, like what other types of payments do you guys take here? We take payments relating to criminal cases. Right. So like restitution or fines, stuff like that? Correct. Well, I guess little Chrissy boy can't exactly take a hint. I mean... Look at the direction of her body. Look at, at where her eyes are focused on. Her eyes are focused on the computer screen and not on him. So she's doing her job, Chrissy boy. That's what she's there for. She's not there to serve you unless you have anything that needs to be accomplished. So she's not interested in you. It is called being productive. Okay. So this is, um, I'm new here. I'm actually not from Colorado Springs, but so like this is El Paso County. This is uh, district court here. So or, this is El Paso County district and county courts. District and county. Okay. Yes. Cool. Thank you. All right. Well, I just had a, just wanted to have this little small dialogue and I was going to be on my way. I was going to hang out all day or anything. So, all right. Can I get your name? 
No, you may not. I may not? You may not. Okay. Is there a reason for that? I do not feel comfortable giving you my name, so you have a good day. Oh, okay. I mean, you work for the public, right? I do not feel comfortable giving you my, my name, sir. You have a good day. Okay, but I mean, you work for the public, right? I do not feel comfortable giving you my name, sir. You That's not what I asked, name. though. I asked you if you work for the public. Uh, Chrissy, I just gotta ask, is this your way of uh, flirting? Is this a, a t an attempt in, to engage in a courtship ritual by uh, trying to flirt with a... Uh, Young lady who has obviously no interest in you in an office setting where she is trying to get something accomplished? Well, Chrissy, boy, this is neither the time nor the place to be engaging in such activities. And besides, like I said before, I don't think she's your type. Maybe you should go back to Sweat Tea Audits. Maybe she'd take your sorry ass back because uh, there's not, like I said, not a lot of women that would want to deal with your sorry ass. I do not feel comfortable giving you my name. You okay. All right. I mean, you don't have to give it to me. I don't Sir, think it's your policy. do you have any business up here to make payments on any cases that you have or anything today we can help you with? Who are you? Do you have any cases that we can help you with with payment or anything today? Who are you? Or are you trying to make a payment? Who are you? Are you trying to make a payment on a case, sir? If not, then we would ask that you exit this room. Who are you, sir? You're giving me like directives. I don't even know who you are, man. Sir, I would just like you to either give us your case number. We can help you out, look you up, provide you assistance. Or if you're not here to make payment or ask questions on your case, we'd ask okay. that you exit the room. Well, I would ask you to, uh, to take your shoes off. Can you do that for me, please? Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. Man, oh, man. Uh, that breakup didn't do so well for your mental stability, did it? Uh, you, you've got some misplaced anger right there. Uh, maybe you should find a better way to redirect it at something else rather than other people. Perhaps playing some video games to get that aggression out, or going out for a jog or something like that. But something other than pissing people off would probably do nicely. And this is just really aggressive, even for you. All right, cool. See, like what happens is like the way you guys are acting, you know, just because coming here with the camera, it like kind of starts this fire, and then now this guy thinks he's got to protect you from me. You know what I mean? So. I just came in here, I was being very nice and polite to you guys, I just asked you for your name so I could see who I was talking to that was giving me the information and then you don't want to give it to me because you said you don't feel comfortable with that. So like, you know, if you worked in the private sector, you don't have to give your name if that's their policy, but you know, you I can find out your name, I can find out your salary, all that. So I'm actually heading over after this to next door to El Paso County Sheriff's Department. <laughs> oh, so you're gonna throw a little tantrum because nobody in this office wanted to cooperate with you because they didn't bow down and kiss your boots, that they didn't lick them clean. Oh, poor little Chrissy boy. However will you recover from this slight do some core requests over there for some other people so i'm gonna uh, get your name and salary to you all i don't actually know who you are so like i guess i'll have to get all the employees names and salaries so i'll get i guess i'll get yours too so that's all man you just you know just be a little bit nicer to people that's all i'm not trying to cause a, a conflict or anything i just asked you some questions Can we make a payment or set up a plan Actually, I was doing talk to I can't remember my account. Account. Which, given that my account is kind of personal, do yeah. you mind not recording any conversation or information? Oh, yeah, you know what? I, I'm not going to try to record your personal information. That's not what I'm here to do. No, no, no. Personal information, just my conversation. If oh. That's okay. I mean, I would okay. like to be entitled to my own sense of personal information and conversations I'd like to have with them, if that's all right with you. And that's the whole crux of why we should not be allowing these frauditors to be doing this to begin with because of personal information that gets transferred that in this manner, which would be easy for a camera to pick 
up. But he's just going to stand there and argue with this guy because, you know, there is no privacy in public. Well, dude, this is a courthouse, which is a limited public forum and quite often in many states is off limits to any type of recording equipment unless it is deemed okay by the local judges you freaking moron okay i mean if 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 you're concerned about that they can take you somewhere that's private this is public so my intent is not to like you know steal your information yeah, no, or blast no, I'm, or anything. Not, I'm not asking that i'm just asking if i could have a moment of privacy and they may not be yep. able to take me somewhere private right well as soon as i'm done conducting my business because i'm actually a taxpayer too so as soon as i'm done with my business i will leave if you you know, I'm not planning on being so, here too much longer. So I'm going to be waiting for you then? Okay. If, if you, if you're, you don't no, want to no, be no, on I, the I, camera, I, then... Go ahead. Okay. All right, so yeah, so back to it. I was just saying that um, since you won't give me your name, then I guess I'll just do a public records request on all of the employees here for names and salaries and data hire. All right, yeah. So, okay. Oh my God, who the hell Cash. Oh my goodness, Chrissy boy. It looks like you're not doing so great. She doesn't look like she's intimidated by you one little bit. Oh my goodness. You're not very good at this anymore, are you? You too. How's it going, sir? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Good. So, do you have any case numbers, any business that we can help you with here? Um, I don't have business with the courts, no. I'm just uh, I'm doing so a story. We, we do ask that you leave because we do have customers that do have business with right. us, so we do need to conduct that. Oh, I'm not trying to hinder anyone's business. Well, and you are, sir. Well, no, I mean, that's if it, that's kind of on him. This is public, so... Well, well, he needs to conduct his business here with us in finance. So yep. unless there's anything that we can help you with. Well, she's right there. She can she can help him, but well, I, I, I'm, I'm making um, my rounds. I talked to them. He said he was going to wait for me. I came up right, here to talk so to you. You may need to set up a payment plan, which would require this desk to be open. So unless you're looking to set up a payment plan or to make a payment, we ask that you set up. Hey, Chrissy boy, you see what this uh, young man was uh, all about? He was being polite and cordial to you. It's something that you have not been doing this whole time you've been in this office. You've been acting like an asshole this whole time. And well, in most cases, that would get you tossed out on your ass out the door. Okay, but yeah, I mean, you can ask me to step out, I mean, but I don't have to, right? Well, um, well we do need to help the next customer. Yeah, and I'm not stopping you from helping anyone, but you're well, asking me to step been, out. And he's already advised you that he's not comfortable with you. And I told him that when I'm done with my business, I'm going to leave. As you saw, I was making my rounds. You're the last person in here that came to talk yeah. to you. But see, you guys keep prolonging this. So you're actually perpetuating him having to wait longer because I was kind of come over here, have a short conversation with you, and you start giving me directives that I need to leave, stuff like that. Right. Now I'm here longer. Now I'm here longer, man. All right, and so we're looking to help him. So how can I help you? Okay, thank you. That would be the first thing you could say, hey, how can I help you? And when you ask me, like, if I have payments, and I said no, and you just tell me that I need to leave. That, that was the first thing he did, you bloody moron. You walked right over there, and he asked you if you needed help. And you escalated the situation, you dumbass. And then when he realized you had no actual business here he asked you politely to uh if to leave like he would any other customer because their business is concluded and they need to open up that space for the next person so if you have no business in that office then why don't you make like a tree and leave here we take payments, we set up right. payment plans, so are you looking to make a payment or to set up a payment? Plan? That's typically what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, but your job description isn't only that, right? So like right. I can come in here and ask you questions in regards to what you do, which I was doing with this lady over here, right? And she was actually answering my questions, that was great. And she was just wouldn't give me her name, so that's all. Okay. So that's why I'm still I mean, honestly, if, if she they, these ladies would have been nice and just answered my questions, I probably would have left like eight minutes ago, okay. man. And so my name's Marcos, and if you have any questions about our job descriptions, you're free to contact our administrative office. They're located on the fourth floor. Administrative office, fourth floor? Fourth floor. All right, hey, I appreciate that, Marcos. Yes, sir. All right, man. Have, have a good one. Day. Okay. Sorry about that, man.
I request that you please delete any footage of me. Delete any footage of you? Uh -huh. Well, I request that you uh, put that hard hat down and do 10 jumping jacks. Can you do that? Uh, actually, I'm legally allowed to request that you delete footage. And I'm legally allowed to request that you do 10 jumping jacks, right? Hey, you delusional moronic ass hat. That's a nice little attitude you got right there. But that guy is essentially correct. And it has been done numerous times on YouTube where a frauditor gets somebody on camera and and they go complain to YouTube. And guess what? Their video is taken down. So I'm sure if somebody knew this guy and gave him some advice on what to do, then your video would be taken down too. So maybe you could should consider that in your future videos because I can tell you that it happened to Georgia Transparency on a few occasions, but that's besides the point right now. I mean, your attitude since Sweaty left your sorry ass has gotten a lot less sweet. Well, you were never sweet to begin with. I mean, you were pretty damn sour all the time, but nowhere near this bad. But it also might have something to do with the, with the fact that you're about to go to jail for a while for your other actions that you have performed in the past. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.